overall season, they went one and nine. Since then, they're 49 and 12. And I can't think they've kind of flown under the radar, but I, I say that we'll find out a lot more about them because after their trip to take on the Green Wave on homecoming at Fort Myers, they go to Island Coast. Then they have a non-district game against a very good Charlotte. And then they take on a team that we're going to talk about because they have a big game at North Fort Myers Friday night. Baker is kind of under the radar, but Baker keeps hanging around in that district. They are, and they probably had one of their worst performances of the season last week against Bishop Rowe, but were able to gut out a victory. You're talking about a game that was 0-0 at halftime. And looking at the performance of the two teams up to this point, you would think, you know, Baker would win that one kind of going away. But they struggled with some turnovers, struggled to get their offense going. We'll see if that's a, a trend of something that's going to plague them the rest of the season or if that was just kind of a blip. But that really would be a good test for that Baker team, you know, matching up against a squad like South Fort Myers. Another interesting matchup. It might be a little one-sided on the scoreboard, but